so let me repeat this what i have just told you in 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 a different format so that things will become more clear to you so as i was telling you that this particular screen which is uh, shown to the agent so this is basically the observation or the state which the environment is providing to the mario which is the agent here so based on this screen the agent will actually perform the optimal action and uh, here if you see the uh, the action that this particular uh, agent will perform is to move right so once it moves right and once it clears down this obstacle by you know avoiding these hurdles uh, basically the optimal action should be something like this so that it can avoid these you know pitfalls that is the uh, you know um, because these this these two guys will actually try to kill mario so somewhere or down the line the agent should you know follow this path of trajectory to move out of this environmental state so if it follows this particular path then uh, environment will actually give some reward to uh, mario uh, because uh, it has avoided these obstacles so now with that reward the screen will change and the new observation will come uh, into play so as you can move so as you can see here a new screen will come where you know a new state will be presented to mario and mario has to act accordingly based on this environment which is provided to it so here you can see if mario takes this up action and jumps onto this it will be you know uh, you know killed by this particular you know uh, thing which is over here but the optimal action that mario will take here will be to go straight like this so once it goes straight it can you know uh, you know get some reward over here so based on the action that mario will take the environment will give him the reward so it can be negative if it takes this action and it can be positive if it takes this action so again once it clears down this environmental state and moves out again environment will provide uh, you know with uh, with this screen so this is again a new observation that the uh, mario will get so here you can see now uh, the optimal action that mario will take is to go like this try to jump gather as many points as it wants and then said and has to go like this this is the optimal trajectory that it has to take but the important thing is that mario has to take care of these obstacles which can kill mario here so the important thing is the thing is to you know get uh, these rewards during the process of winning the game but the important thing is it has to be not that greedy also in taking these rewards uh, because somewhere down the line uh, you know there is a slight danger also available here so the, the there is another concept which we will discuss later on that is immediate reward and far sighted rewards so that concept is clearly you know indicated over here we will discuss about these in the coming lectures but you keep this in mind uh, during that period of time that is uh, when we will discuss that uh, this picture should come to your mind immediately that is uh, to gather these rewards what you are doing is you are risking mario because somewhere down the line if it jumps over here it might be the case that this particular danger will actually kill mario so what we should do is we, instead of being far sighted instead of taking all these rewards let's take some of the rewards go here and then jump like this and then jump like this so somewhere down the line we should not be too far sighted we we have to be neither too far sighted and neither too less we should take this uh, you know uh, thing into consideration that is we should not be that too much greedy also uh, because we have to avoid the dangers also uh, which are there if we try to collect more rewards we have to take decisions optimally in the sense that we have to collect more rewards that is the main objective of reinforcement learning but simultaneously we have to avoid the dangers also during that collection of the rewards so the another key component that we have in reinforcement learning is the actions so actions are nothing but it's a basically agent actually interacts with the environment and moves from one state to another by performing specific actions so we will see that but actions are somewhere or the other they are somewhere or the other acting as a as as in between the agent and the environment because environment will try to uh, enforce something on the agent and agent will respond with with actions which will actually affect the environment uh, in due course of time so actions are performed by agent so it's a interaction system in between the agent and environment 
which is performed basically by the action so let us discuss this so here you can see a picture of a of a mario game so here you can see we have uh, you know mario here so mario actually can perform three different actions here which is left up and right so you can see mario can move in three different directions left right and up so action space basically consists of these three different actions which are you know cl clubbed together into one single set which we are calling as actions so what is state here so uh, recall I, I i was telling you a slight difference between states and observations so right now what we are saying is states are equal to observations we are not defining them to be different uh, so right now that's why i am writing it as states so states are nothing but it's basically a specific video frame so here if you are in this particular video frame then this is basically the state which actually is observed by the uh, agent which is given over here so so here we have this agent right so this agent will actually uh, see this state which is the particular instant of the video game a particular frame of this particular video game and it's also also called as observation so it's an observation which is given by the environment and this is the observation so here you can see mario is at this position and it has to grab more points so uh, the most probable uh, you know action that it has to do uh, is to jump onto here so that it can grab some points by jumping over here and and you can see mario could have gone straight also and you know got some points here and the important point that we have to see here is that the mario uh, mario will actually jump and, and collect these points because somewhere or the other down the line we have to maximize the reward keep this in mind what i am telling here that is we have these two options which is going like this and collecting this reward or going like this and collecting this reward and coming back and collect this reward so the important thing is uh, in in reinforcement learning what we always want to achieve is to maximize the reward so here you can see uh, the most probable uh, you know action that this mario will take is to jump around take all these rewards and then come back and take this reward so this also tells us uh, the main objective of reinforcement learning which is to maximize the reward so keep this in mind and we will formulate the theory about maximization of the reward later in the due course of time but this is just giving you a glimpse of what reinforcement learning is all about so here again i am showing you the interaction between the agent and the environment and environment is nothing but you know it's a computer screen which is actually present presented to the agent and agent has to actually interact in this environment here which is uh, which is actually given over here so it has to interact with the change in the screen so depending upon the change in the screen environment uh, uh, envi environment is present to the agent and agent has to perform optimally in that uh, screen so right now we uh, we have this uh, reinforcement learning cycle so here we will see what are the main steps that are involved in this cycle so the first step that is involved in this cycle is that the agent actually observes the environment so what happens is now the agent first of all in the first step will observe the environment by saying observing the environment means it will actually see the states of the environment and by saying state means it will observe the computer screen of the environment as i was telling you here so this is a specific screen instant a specific time instant of the video game so this frame is basically a state so what agent will do at the first step is it will actually see that state first and then what will happen is after it observe this state what will happen the second step will be that agent actually use this observation and the reward that it will get so let us say right now during the first uh, instant when the game started our reward is zero so um, so if we keep that reward as zero for time being now what, uh, so we only are left with the observation so agent will actually make use this this observation and it will try to improve the task so by saying improving the task means it will start so so it will not right now improve because this is the first instant so let's skip this particular loop also for uh, for first instant of time when the game has started so what will happen is by seeing the observations from the from the state it will take some actions so what are the actions actions can be left right up as i was telling you here 
you can see actions of the Mario can be left, up and right. So based on the observation that he has observed, that he has seen, uh, it will take some actions and the actions will actually send actions will actually send an action to the environment so it's basically when it takes action it will actually be sensed by the environment and what what happens is it's try it tries to control the environment by doing these actions so once the actions are given to the environment then what will happen is environment will transition to new state so by saying this loop of transition means a new state will come and by saying a new state come means a new screen will come which is actually another environmental state and and this environmental state the one which you are, which you are getting is basically dependent upon the previous state and the actions that uh, the mario has taken so depending upon the actions and the state that mario was already in the earlier one uh, depending upon that a new screen will come over here and the new screen will give again a, a different challenge to agent so basically agent will actually see that new screen as a new observation state and depending upon the action that he has taken in the earlier uh, screen or the earlier environment the environment will give rewards based on that so so now the rewards will start coming in because in the when the game just started at that time rewards was zero but now during the one first loop if the agent has performed optimally in the first uh, environmental state then uh, environment will give them a reward and reward can be plus or minus depending upon whether agent successfully did some optimal action or not so if if if, if the if the if the mario was killed during that process of moving in the earlier state then the reward that uh, mario will get is minus one but if the Mario was successfully able to gather some points in that environmental state, so the reward that it will get will be plus, plus one or plus two, depending upon the reward setting that we want to set for the reinforcement learning cycle. So now when, we, when you have new observation states and new rewards, so then based on these two, agent will again take some action and it tries to control the new environmental state and again based on the action that uh, agent will take uh, the environment will transition to next screen and then this cycle will keep on repeating and the reinforcement learning will start taking place so this is the process of reinforcement learning